day one in Dubrovnik after the uh, the four hour coach journey we took to get here we're gonna finally go and explore the place properly uh, but as I always like to do before we set off I'll do a little apartment review so let's get started so this won't take long at all to be honest this will be nice and quick so there's Tammy oh hello Tam <laughs> and uh, we've got this bed here I'm gonna be completely honest they weren't the most comfortable it's quite thin mattress but it did the job it did the job can't complain got a little table here which I do my um, editing on or which I did my editing on yesterday for the uh, for the coach trip video so uh, watch that if you haven't already it's uh, quite an interesting little, little video some very nice scenery I've got a little kitchenette area here with a kettle little stove and little sink and yeah, you've got cupboards with your facilities in it and then you've got a little bathroom there you go toilet shower and then you've got these like, little blind things that you can close and that's that's it that's that's the apartment review <laughs> <laughs> nice and quick so uh, how much did it cost well it cost 35 pounds a night which is around about 42 dollars uh, I don't know how much that is in euros so I'll check uh, I'll let you know <laughs> but yeah it's about 35 pound 42 dollars a night to stay here um, five pounds more than um, the you know the place over in split but Dubrovnik is a very very popular area we're not actually staying in Dubrovnik though, itself. Well, we, we are and we're not. We're staying in a, a suburb. We're staying in a place called La Pad. So we've got a little map here. So we're staying here in this place called La Pad. And this is where the bus station was that we came from. So we came from here, went all the way down there. And we're around about here somewhere. About half an hour. About half an hour. Uh, the old city of Dubrovnik is just there which is where i think they filmed game of thrones so that for me is something that i really want to see because i love that show uh, and there's also a beach actually uh, and a uh, a like a a park i don't know what the park's called but it's a very pretty park apparently and we're right on top of it right there and then there's a beach just down here so uh yeah we're gonna go and have a look and uh explore la pad and indeed dubrovnik in a bit more detail i'll show you outside as well i almost forgot about that <laughs> So there's a little, uh, a little like terraced area. I think everyone can use that. I'm not sure though. And uh, yeah, it's got this kind of cool little system here where you lock it and you can close these vents and uh, keep some of the light out. <clears throat> right. So quite quite a nice day actually. It's. Uh, not too hot so I believe the beach is down this way <laughs> there's a cool little uh, cool little backdrop there didn't really see that all too well yesterday uh, gotta be careful because we're on a road we might have got squished on our first day here <laughs> get me squished yeah we've got uh, a nice little Backdrop here, where we're staying. So yeah, pretty good so far, man. Um, so we specifically chose that place because, uh, to be honest, it was it was the cheapest we could find in the Dubrovnik area, at least. I um, mean, it's not quite in Dubrovnik; it's on the outskirts. Uh, when I say Dubrovnik, I mean central, as in you walk out your door and everything's there. We've got a bus ride to get there. I think the bus ride's about, what, half an hour? Yeah, to, to the old town from La Pad. But that's not too bad. Um, and yeah, we, uh, you know, we don't know anything about Dubrovnik really. We've not done any research. We're just kind of, just gonna look around and explore and yeah, see what it has to offer. So let's do this. There we go, so we've made it. It's not quite a beach. I don't know, uh, I thought it was probably a bit of a disservice towards beaches. But, um, well, it has the characteristics of a beach, I guess. It's got uh, it's got water. It's got somewhere you can kind of sunbathe. 
But I'm gonna go and have a bit of a further look over here, I guess. See what we got. La Pad Beach. That was that was the beach. <laughs> oh well, it's still quite a, quite a nice looking place. Yeah. So in terms of the plans for today, so I, well, Tammy's been complaining that we haven't got enough tea making facilities at home in terms of you know tea bags, coffee, milk, sugar, and as Brits, tea is our life blood fuel, and we've had two on this entire trip. Two. Unacceptable. <laughs> you know, can't be having two, two cups of tea for an entire trip when you're fresh. So, uh, yeah, we're going to probably go and buy some tea making facility. To, to, well, we'll come, uh, stuff to make a cup of tea at some point. Um, and then, yeah, we'll probably go off and uh, go and explore the old town. But, uh, yeah, the problem looks quite nice, man. Look at that. It's a... Uh, yeah, very scenic place. I mean, I didn't really know what to expect. I saw it on Game of Thrones, obviously, but uh, yeah. You can swim in this, but like an idiot, I didn't pack anything to swim in. I wish I, wish I had, actually. It's quite a nice day for it. I thought it was going to be uh, raining all week. <laughs> but yeah, it's quite a, quite a nice day. All right, so we've made it to Dubrovnik. Well, the as close to the old town as we can get. I don't actually know how far the old town is, but rather than going to the old town straight away, we're just gonna kind of just stroll in an interesting looking direction and see where it takes us pretty much. But yeah, I got on the bus and uh, I, uh, I asked the bloke if he spoke English and he said yes, but I still kept trying to order the ticket in Croatian. <laughs> and he was like, your Croatian is good. <laughs> It's okay. It's good. <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, that, that, that's, that's a massive compliment, mate. Thank you. Oh wow. <laughs> Over there. Um, so, in terms of the plan, we're going to go and get a cup of tea, I think, because uh, we were supposed to go and buy some bits to make a cup of tea. But we decided just to come straight here, didn't we? Yeah. Go and explore the place and see what it's all about. Um, because, uh, yeah, we don't really know what to expect. We've only, this is our one full day here as well, so we haven't got a, we haven't got a, uh, a lot of time here before we move on to our next city. So, uh, yeah, you know, I want to try and squeeze out the most of it that we can and, uh, you know, make the most of it and uh, see, you know, see what Dubrovnik's all about. But, oh, look at that, it's pretty, pretty old tall, isn't it? Quite a drop as well. <laughs> Not good if you're scared of heights. But, uh, oh, look at this, handmade souvenirs. Very nice. I'm not entirely sure where we are, but it looks very uh, historic. Um, yeah. Cheeky bit of Andy Warhol there. No. It's really strange actually because uh, when you're out and about, you'll hear like English music being played on the radio and stuff like. I think I heard Ed Sheeran and George Ezra. It's not my kind of music, but that's what I heard. And I was thinking to myself, like, do you reckon like them two artists know that somewhere in a cafe in Dubrovnik, their stuff is being played to a, to a group of people? Wow, look at that. Very nice. So I don't know how long we're gonna spend in the tourist area, because, um, me and Tammy are both claustrophobic, so we don't really like <laughs> being surrounded by too many people. I guess you could say we're antisocial. <laughs> um, uh, but also, I think the real beauty lies on the outskirts and, uh, you know, off the beaten trail. Uh, but, I mean, I must, must be said, it's actually very nice here. Dobry jutro. Dobry jutro. Dobry jutro. Dobry jutro. Dobry Ah, super. My uh, Croatian's not very good. Uh, is, this, is this your shop? No. Is it not? Working, yeah. It's very nice. Are you from Dubrovnik? Yeah, yeah. I oh, it's here. a beautiful city. What's yeah. it like to live here? Uh, boring. <laughs> really? I'm too young. <laughs> really? Honestly, we went past the bus and I couldn't. I was just like, wow, this is like the most it's beautiful crazy place. For, like uh, maybe when you have a family or something. Yeah, yeah. 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 But like, what about the nightlife? Is it any good or? No. No? No. We have like 
few clubs and everybody is like not from here. So oh really? Yeah. Your English is so good. How did you learn to speak so good? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> really? With people. I'm working with people all my life. Oh, all the time. So yeah. you learn. Wow. Yeah. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank, thank you, you so much for your time. You. All good done done. Dobry jutro. Mogli platiti katitsun? Ah, super. Um, mogli dobiti jeden. I don't know how to say that. Gratian cream and black cookies? Jeden. 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 Yes. Molin. Govoriti li Angliecki? Da. Ah, super. I'm sorry, my Croatian is very bad. I don't know much more. No, no, it's all good. Ah, fala vam, fala. I understand all. Ah, fala, ah, super. No worries. Ah, it's a very hard language to learn. Super. Ah, did you want water as well? Ah, jeden voda? Is it voda? Voda. Super. Che cosa? Toito. Toito. That's it. That's everything. Yes. How do you say that? Sorry. Toito. 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 Da. Ah, super. Oh, I've got. I've got the card. Okay. Super. Follow them. Follow them. Go Virginia. All good done done. So Tom, what do you think then? I'm loving it. Yeah? Yeah, it's got that like gothic medieval. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention Tom's like uh, she's got like an inner goth. <laughs> she don't dress like it or look like one. But yeah, through and through, she, she's a goth without the goth skin, you know, or the goth clothing. Love it all. Yeah, this is mind-blowing. Yeah. Just walking through the streets of, like, where people would have lived. Mm. Oh yeah, you kind of almost picture what it would have been like back yeah. in the day, don't you? Oh, like yeah. Hustling and bustling, people mm. going about their daily business, the down the back, back alleys and yeah. stuff. Would have been the same. Makes you wonder, doesn't it, how old that rock is? The flooring yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. It's pretty funny actually. Uh, we just uh, just met a fellow English couple. The could tell we're English because we were talking to each other. And the lady turned around to tell me and she said, Oh, can you just take a photo of me standing by this thing, please? With my husband. With my husband. And that husband had that <laughs> dejected look about him like he had been dealt with, been dealing with this all day. And he turned around to me and he went, I need to go to the pub, man. <laughs> and Tammy, she's been doing it as well. She's been taking fight, like stopping every five seconds to take photos, which is cool. That's what holidays are all about, isn't it? <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it made me giggle, man. <laughs> Proper funny. Yeah, not too bad, man. Got uh, a little beach down here. One thing I notice about beaches, in, like, well, in Dubrovnik at least, is that they all seem to be... Uh, like shingles? shingles? Oh, yeah. I don't know if that's the word for it, like stony, like lots of stones. But um, yeah, we're going to try and find some glasses in it because it's so much brighter than we was expecting. Like we were thought it was going to be, uh, we thought it was, <laughs> we thought it was going to be raining to be honest, that's why we didn't pack any. Um, so we're going to go on a, uh, a hunt for, for glasses um, of my hair. I probably look like I'm trying to do a poor impression of uh, the, the matrix <laughs> or something like that but um yeah we're just trying to break away from the tourist area now and trying to uh go a little bit more off the beaten trail and try and uh try and see what's out and about really because uh it was getting a bit too crowded for my liking um and a bit old say a bit samey like it was very pretty but yeah it's just like a lot of the same stuff you know what i mean just like souvenir shops and gift shops and all that but yeah so the missus needs a little sit down so I thought right let's get off go into the beaten trail and go down some of the side streets and back alleys and see what we have it's really strange actually because um when I was a kid 
I knew nothing about Croatia, nothing. I actually assumed it was a cold country. <laughs> it was really strange. I didn't know it was a warm country, uh, for starters. And uh, I didn't know anything about the language, uh, obviously as a kid. Well, to be honest, I didn't know anything about it until two weeks ago. <laughs> I started speaking or learning Croatian two weeks ago. So I've got a little method that I use. I just literally uh, get a list of pretty much the same words every time. I'll get a list of words that I feel like I'll need. Um, and then I'll write down how they're pronounced as if you were pronouncing them in an English way. So trying to break them down. So uh, for instance, uh, um I'm sorry, that's written completely different to how you would pronounce it. <laughs> I'll show you how it's written actually. I'll put it on the screen. So that's pronounced Jaumier, but you know, it's, uh, it, I, I don't know what it looks like, how you would say it. So what I have to do then is uh, I'll listen to uh, like a few local people saying it. So I'll try and listen to it on YouTube or sometimes feed it through Google Translate and, and say to it, how the hell is this pronounced? <laughs> and then I'll get a little notepad and I'll write down the pronunciation and I'll just sit there, recall and collect, say it over and over again until I start getting it. Um, and that's it really. And I'll do that for about two weeks and usually it gets ingrained into my brain. Um, and then what I'll get Tammy to do is uh, I'll get her to uh, kind of quiz me, I guess. Uh, so she'll be like, okay, how do you say this, this, this? And she'll ask me the English version or she asked me how to say it in Croatian. You know what I mean? So she might say, how do you say thank you? And I'll be like, fala, or fala vam. And then she'd be like, what does uh, negovarim hrvatski mean? Well, it means uh, I don't speak, I don't speak uh, English. Sorry, I don't speak Croatian, should I say. So, uh, yeah, and that tends to work. It does the job. Oh my God, it's so hot. I'm literally walking right into the sun, <laughs> right towards it, right up a slope. But uh, I guess it gets those much needed calories burnt off. But yeah, there you go. Almost had a, almost had a crash. <laughs> Gotta be careful. <laughs> Gotta be careful on these side streets. Yeah. There we go, so there's the old town behind me right there. So I've taken a, a fairly decent walk from it. I don't know how much further I, I will or can go. I love the way clothes are hung up as well. Like, you know, how do you how do you retrieve them? That's that's the question. How do you get your clothes back? And you've got to take your life in your hands to get your clothes back. What have we got over here? Look at they cheering over here. There were some boats. Yeah, no, uh, Croatia so far, man. I love it. It's, uh, it's a stunning, stunning country. Everyone's so friendly as well. Like, you know, they seem really surprised and, and grateful when you're giving Croatian a spin. I mean, obviously, you know, they're being, they're probably being very kind when they say I'm pronouncing things well. <laughs> they always say, oh, you pronounce Croatian really well. Your pronunciation's really good. I'm like, ah, oh, come on now. You, you and me know that's not true. <laughs> but uh, I do try and get the pronunciation, but one thing I won't do is the grammar. I won't, I won't bother so much with the grammar side of things because uh, you know, you've got like the masculine and feminine pronouns. I may embarrass myself a little bit, but uh, yeah, if I if I try to uh, learn the uh, learn the grammar, it will take me forever. And uh, yeah, I don't I don't have time to uh, to understand like masculine and feminine pronouns, and you know, I don't. I don't think I've even got the uh, the brain capacity to understand how it all works. Like when I was a kid, I was trying to learn French and I just could not get my head around it. Like the masculine, the feminine pronouns, like I just couldn't understand. And uh, it kind of got me thinking, well, really, in reality, as long as the words in their own right make some sort of sense, then, you know, there's no harm. Like. You know, it's like in England, like I've got friends from Lithuania, for instance, 
and they say uh, something like, uh, I don't know, I'm trying to think of a good example. Um, this can I have, for instance. Oh, this can I have. Yeah, sure, mate, there you go, have it. You know, because I, I know that's the wrong way around, but the words on their own make sense to me. So I can kind of take the words they're saying, say, oh yeah, I know what you mean. I don't know how important grammar actually is in terms of, uh, you know, making sense in different countries, like namely Croatia and stuff. I don't know how important that is. But um, one thing I tell you, it's very hard to walk on this path. <laughs> Look at this. Oh no, there's a few gaps here now. Some of the cars, they were like literally parked right up on the, uh, on the edge. I better check my phone actually, just in case Tammy's trying to call me. She's probably thinking, where the hell's he gone? No, not yet, that's good. <laughs> She's probably still relaxing. She'll be like, you yeah, know, he's probably gone off and uh, probably gone and tried to, got, got involved in some sort of a drinking party with the locals. I love stuff like that. I really do. But the problem is, I think, uh, Understandably, there's a disdain for tourists in many areas that are uh, blighted with tourism. So in Croatia, for instance, you get tourism everywhere. And obviously it kind of, I guess it strips away some of your cultural identity because, uh, you know, the areas that you live in, you know, yeah, become nothing more than a spectacle for, for the tourists to come and glance upon. You know, and obviously it makes the economy money, which is good, but at the same time, it, um, it must also be frustrating for, for locals who live in these areas. It must be like, well, this is my home, man. This is where I live. And, uh, you know, this is, this is my life. And I think as a result, yeah, tourists, you know, there must be like an element of, uh, man, these tourists, I wish they'd go away, give me some space to breathe. Even I felt like that. Going through the uh, old town back there, I was standing there thinking, man, like, I don't know how much more of that I can cope with. But yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Look at that. Beautiful. Even the normal everyday areas, absolutely beautiful. But yeah, I tried to make it a goal to, uh, to get off the beaten trail where I can. And uh, oh look, got some builders here doing their job. But yeah, try and get off the beaten trail where I can. And uh, go and have a look in the uh, in the corners that perhaps the other locals wouldn't, uh, sorry, the, uh, the tourists wouldn't go and think to look. I mean, I haven't, I haven't heard English yet, so that's good. It means I'm on the right path. But, uh, yeah, in terms of uh, in terms of most holidays, this is the reason why this YouTube channel actually began was because me and Tammy would go abroad or go somewhere, and more often than not, I'll be like, okay, I've seen the tourist stuff now. Yeah, because Tammy, there's a dichotomy between us both, I guess, where Tammy's she doesn't mind the tourist stuff; she gets tired of it as well, but she's a bit more. Uh, um, What's the word? Uh, a bit more patient with it. She's a bit more patient with the tourist side of things. Like she doesn't get frustrated by it as quickly as I do. Whereas me, I'm like, okay, cool, tourist stuff. Very nice, beautiful. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Let's see what else is about. And uh, as a result, you know, some of some of the most beautiful places you'll find are off the beaten trail. So uh, I remember. We went to Greece and we stayed in a place called Antimatia, which uh, if you've been to Kos before, uh, Kos in Greece, you'll uh, be familiar with Antimatia because uh, that's where the, the hotel is. Sorry, the airport is. We stayed in the hotel. Well, no, we didn't actually. We stayed in the, stayed in the Airbnb um, that we got off booking.com. An apartment that we got in, in booking.com. There we go. And uh, we were like, okay, well, Let's go and have a look around. So 
because we was in an area that was, you know, very rural already, we kind of got ourselves off the beaten trail quite naturally. And I remember going down this little town and there was goats and chickens running around and not a word of English I heard, not once. So I'd learned a bit of Greek, uh, Evaristo, uh, Kalimira, Karispira, uh, I think that's how you say it. It's been a while. I'm going back to Greece soon, so I'll have to brush up on my Greek. But I um, uh, went to Greece and in the little back streets, it was beautiful. And then we went to Cost Town and it was equally just as beautiful, but then it was so, so driven by tourism that it was hard to hear Greek. You know, walk down and I'd hear so much English. Now, that's what surprised me of the old town, actually. Like, I was walking down and I just heard so many, like, English. And I was like, wow, like, that's mad. And like, that's when I was just speaking to the woman earlier, she was like, I was like, how do you, how would you know English so well? And I thought she was going to say, oh, school. I learned it at school. And uh, she was like, no, just every day you have to talk to people, locals or tourists. So naturally, you know, naturally you're going to pick up some words. Yeah, it'd be weird, wouldn't it? If in England we had to be semi-proficient at another language in order to get by, you know what I mean? Like, let's just say London. Let's just say in London you had to be able to speak Mandarin or Arabic to be able to serve customers. Oh, look, we've got a standoff here. Hey, don't fight, lads. It's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it. That could be ladies, actually. Okay, they think they're female cats. I don't know how you can tell. Someone in the comments tell me how you can tell a male from a female cat without explicitly asking them. Look at that. Wasps galore. Not a fan of uh, stings, so I'll give that a, a wide berth. There you go, there's the old town. And Tammy is somewhere over there. I was like, don't mind me, love. You know, I'll, uh, I'll go for a stroll. But um, yeah, I think, I think Tammy, bless her, I think Tammy's all the way over there. So, you see about that crane? No, not that crane. I don't know if you can see that blue dome over there. There's a little wall. I believe she's over there somewhere. And the old town is just over there. So I've... Uh, I've taken a bit of a detour up the mountains, I guess you could say. Well, not quite, but near them. <laughs> now we're going down a slope, which is nice, but uh, yeah, I better, better consider returning back soon because, uh, well, Tammy's been left on her own in a foreign country and uh, her proficiency of creation, uh, she actually knows as much as I do, believe it or not, but she just, she just, she just gets very shy. I get shy as well, don't get me wrong. I get shy speaking Croatian, but uh, nothing ventured, nothing gained, and all that. All right, back in the apartment after a rather hot and uh, yeah, clammy walk. Uh, I do apologise if the video seemed to end a bit abruptly there. My camera died up the way, all the way up that hill. My camera just went nah. We're we're we're, we're done here. So uh, popped to the shops and got a few supplies on the way home. So let's have a little look at them and. Uh, We'll do a little review before we close off the video. So we've got a beer called Uzusko. So if you remember, I tried Kalavachko um, and um, I didn't have a bottle opener, so I had to have that at home. And to be honest, by the time I drank it, it was just so late and my, my you know, battery was dying. So I decided not to do the review of that, but that was really nice. Uzusko, not tried that before. Hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Kalavachko Pivo, number one. Croatian beer, number one. So um, yeah. We'll give that a go. I've also brought, sorry if you hear the uh, tap running in the background, that's just panic. He's uh, brought a cup of tea. We finally got our hands on some black tea. Because I've been asking everywhere, I've been going all around Dub um, Dubrovnik, being like, can I have a black tea? Sorry, we don't have any. I was like, what? Are you kidding me? But I don't think black tea is as popular here. But um, yeah, so we've got a, uh, a cheese strudel. So let's give that a shot first. A guy had a cheese strudel in uh, Hungary. Let's give it a go.
Oh wow, okay. <laughs> that's really interesting. That's not cheese as in like... It's like sweetened cottage cheese. I thought it was just like a savoury cottage cheese. I didn't even see the uh, powdered sugar on top. That's actually banging. Here, try some of that, Sam. It's sweetened cottage cheese. It's I won't... a strudel, isn't it? It's a strudel, it's yes. Really a sweetened cottage cheese. It's pretty good, isn't it? And then we got a meat burek. Don't usually do food, but I thought we'd have a little look. This is a burek, which is like a phyllo pastry, like dough. And then, yeah, we're going to share this, obviously. So this is our lunch. I thought we'd have a little look. So let's try it. Oh, wow. So try some time. That is good. So warm. Hmm. Yeah, that's really nice. I think it's, uh, what do you reckon, pork? Mm. Like it tastes like different herbs in it, like sage and stuff. And there we go, look. Doesn't take a long, does it? English breakfast. But yeah, I've been fancying a cup of tea all day. Just could not find one. So, it was useful. Let's give this a go. Oh, nice. That's pretty, that's got a kick, man. How strong is that? Try and find the volume here. Have a look for me, yeah. Any idea? No. If anyone can cook there, anyone in the comments can tell me how strong those you score is, let me know. Yeah, it's quite nice. I'll let Tammy have a try. What do you reckon, love? Give it a spin. It packs a punch. I don't know how strong it is, but it, and maybe it's because we've been walking all day and we're quite, you know, you get quite worn out and a beer hits a bit harder when you're a bit worn out. But yeah, we come back to the apartment just to cool off really because it's getting really hot. Really hot in the world. You know, like in Spain where like you have the siesta time. For some reason it's like that, like between two and three. It gets really hot. So uh, yeah, come back here. Come back here to chill out. Oh, I've got it. Look, we brought a nice big bar of chocolate for our journeys and it's completely melted. <laughs> Typical. But um, in, the in the fridge that goes along with my beer. But um, yeah, we hope you've enjoyed the uh, the look of uh, Dubrovnik. Uh, it's our last day tomorrow. So we might get a little bit more content tomorrow. We're jumping on another Flix bus to take our next destination. So um, we hope you uh, join us for that one as well. Um, and yeah. Once again, thank you for watching. We always appreciate the people that watch the videos and uh, you know, you don't have to drop a like, you don't have to drop a comment. As long as you've had a laugh and enjoyed it, then that's all we can ask for. That's, that we're grateful that you've actually watched. You know what I mean? So thank you. And uh, we hope you have a great day and we will catch you on the next video. Take care people. See you later.